So, we are going to finish the topic microbiology of meat. So, in this topic, we will cover the microbial profile, microbial spoilage of meat, illness caused due to spoilage, and preservation. Let's start. Firstly, we will see why the meat is a substrate and an ideal substrate for the microbe. So, if we compare the 25% of the world food produced post harvest or post slaughter is lost due to microbial degradation of food alone. So, this is the 25% is a big amount. And why the meat is so prone to be spoiled by the microbes? Meat provide an excellent culture media for the growth of many microorganisms because it is high in moisture, rich in nitrogenous content and various degree of complexity and plentiful of minerals and accessory growth factors are present. So, these are the different factors, these are the different uh, reasons why the meat is getting spoiled or attacked by the microbes. Now, after the breakdown of the meat, different components of the meat, those are fat, protein, carbohydrate, it will impart the off odor of flavor and slime formation. Now, majority of the spoilage microorganisms are contaminant. They come from the external sources during the process to produce desirable quality fermented products. So, during processing, this infection will start. Now, molds, yeast and bacteria, these are the most important microbes which will infect or which will attack or which will spoil the meat. Now, if you see the microbial profile of the meat, here we can see the fresh and refrigerated meat, this, the microorganisms which are isolated are bacteria, molds and yeast. Then processed and the cured meat, they also have the bacteria, mold and yeast and these are the examples given for these. Now, if you go for the common source of the contamination of the meat, firstly, in the slaughterhouses, sick workers or the latent carrier. Second, improper decontamination of the machinery due before slaughter or processing, slaughter the line contamination and contamination of raw materials, spices, casing and fitters. So, these are the different sources. Then market line, uh, marketing line contamination also like in the storage room and road con contamination when the product is traveling from one place to other, it is also during transportation the contamination can take place. Now, packaging machine, mixing unit, people contamination, then processing unit contamination, that is during the processing of the meat, that is drying, smoking process, due to provision of the improper temperature also, that is also very important reason. If the proper temperature is not provided, the chances of contamination will be there. Then processing line contamination during the ripening and fermentation room. Secondly, again the improper temperature provided during the processing. Then processing line contamination during cutting, chopping and in the kitchen. Okay, So, these are the different sources for the contamination. Now, if you see the general principles underlying the meat spoilage. So, first is the invasion of tissue by the microorganism. So, upon the death of the animal, the invasion of the tissue by the contaminated, contaminating microorganism will take place. There are different factors that will influence the inv invasion. And these factors are firstly the load of gut, load of microbes in the gut of the animal. Okay, so greater the load, greater the invasion of the tissue. That is why before 24 hour of slaughter, the animal is kept starved. Okay, so the load is less, then the microbial contamination chances will also be less. Second, the physiological condition of the animal immediately after slaughter. So, if the animal is excited, if the animal is feverish, if the animal is fatigued, there are more chances of bacteria to enter the tissue. Okay. Third is the method of killing or the bleeding. So, the better and more sanitary, here the sanitary uh, conditions are required. So, better the, if the conditions are proper, sanitized, then the better keeping quality of the meat will be there. Rate of cooling. So, rapid cooling will reduce the rate of invasion. If after slaughtering, if it, the rapid cooling is there, chances of contamination or chances of invasion of the tissues by the microorganisms will be less. Second, 
principle is the growth after the invasion second is the growth of microbes in the meat again we know that meat is an ideal culture media for many microorganisms because it is high in moisture rich is in nitrogenous food and complexity plentiful supplied with the mineral and accessory growth factors now for this also the growth of microbes also there are certain factors that are responsible so these factors are first is the kind and amount of contamination with the microorganism and the spread of these organism in the meat like when the meat with the contaminating flora that is high in percentage of cyclotrophs would spoil at chilling temperature if more cyclotrophs means the kind of contamination is going to affect the growth of microbe here we are looking for the growth so if the <clears throat> cyclotrophs are there in the meat so at the low temperature they will have the more chances more rapid growth okay second is the physical property of the meat so amount of exposed area of the flesh again if the more exposed area the greater load of the organism will be there okay sometimes uh, this fat is also there so fat is also present on the surface but here also enzymatic and uh, chemical activity will be there like if the area is exposed physical property of the meat more area more exposed then it will have the more chances same way if the meat is grinded then also it will increase the surface area and again it will encourage the microbial growth third is the chemical properties of the meat so we will see that how the chemical properties of the meat will affect the growth of microbes in the meat like meat is a fine culture media okay so if the moisture content if the ph so all these factors are going to affect the growth of microbes so the factors which are supporting the growth of the those type of like low ph is there high ph is there so all depending on the ph requirement the microbes will be attacked attack on the meat and they will grow there now fourth uh, important factor that determine the growth of the microbes is the availability of oxygen so aerobic condition at the surface of meat are favored to the growth of if the aerobic conditions are there mold yeast and aerobic bacteria will be there okay and if the anaerobic conditions are there so it will go for the putrefaction that is the protein lysis now temperature also plays very important role we know that the temperature is going to be the deciding factor for the kind of the organism or the type of the spoilage that is going to happen now if you see after the principle of the spoilage of the meat we will see the types of the spoilage there are two types of spoilage spoilage under aerobic condition and spoilage under anaerobic condition firstly we will see the spoilage under aerobic condition so under aerobic condition bacteria may cause the following spoilage first is the slime surface slime so it is the caused by these are the organism in this you can see the slimy layer is on the surface now color of the meat pigment change in the color of the meat pigment generally what we say the red color of the meat is called as bloom okay so change due to the change of the color due to change in the pigment that is converted from red it will be going to green brown on or gray and how it has happened because of the oxidation of the Uh, because of the production of the oxidizing compound like peroxides or hydrogen sulfide and by bacteria so that will be changing the color of the meat pigment okay so these are the examples now change in the fat so oxidation of unsaturated fat in the meat take place chemically in the air and it will be catalyzed by the light and copper so it will result again in the uh, that composition or the characteristic of the meat like lipolytic bacteria that will uh, oxidize the fat hydrolysis will be there and rancidity will result now coming to the phosphorescence this is the phosphorescence due to the growth of the luminescent bacteria okay so it, like here you can see the it will the glowing will be there and because of some pigment now various surface colors due to the pigmented bacteria so red spot may be caused by cerasia like cerasia gives the red color okay the spoilage of, if the cerasia is growing on the meat it will give the red spot pseudomonas again it will give the blue color and uh, again some other chromobacterium is there it will give the brownish black color on the stoned beef now next is the under aerobic condition next type of spoilage is off odor and off taste so taints or undesirable odor or taste so they will appear in the meat as a result of growth of bacteria on the surface and these are often evident before other signs of the spoilage okay so this and this so this is the off this is the off um, this uh, 
spoilage and this can be, the, uh, we can see it, it, these are evident before any other signs of the spoilage. So, these can be the primary signs that is the pri of order and of taste. So, sarring is the again of taste, okay. So, this applied to any defect that give the sour taste. Now, after the aerobic condition is polished, we will go for the anaerobic condition. So, this is again the most uh, hair putrefaction and taints are used here. So, here firstly, the first type of uh, spoilage under anaerobic condition is sarring. So, here again it is due to the anaerobic production of fatty acid, lactic acid by bacterial action, then proteolysis, then action of needs own enzyme during aging or ripening. So, this will result in the sarring. Then putrefaction. Putrefaction is again anaerobic decomposition of protein. We all know that and this will result in the production of a compound like hydrogen sulfide, mercaptans, indole, scatol and uh, this uh, ammonia and amine. So, these all will give the off flavor or the rancidity to the product. Now, taint again it is the off flavor or off odor. So, these we have seen. Now, we will see the illness caused due to the spoiled meat. So, there are so many type of poisoning or there are so many type of illness that will result due to the consumption of the spoiled meat. That is the, this uh, escombrotoxic feet, uh, fish poisoning, okay, then botulism, then uh, campylobacteriosis, E. coli, listeriosis, uh, uh, this uh, perfringence food poisoning, salmonellosis, staphylococcal food poisoning, amoebiasis, vibrio infection, giardiasis, calcivirus and hepatitis A virus. So, all hepatitis A virus. So, all these are the different illnesses caused due to the meat, spoiled meat consumption. Now, how we will preserve and store the meat? That is very important. So, we can do it at cold temperature for that refrigerator, deep freezer storage. Then vacuum packing, vacuum should be because that will increase the shelf life. Canning is also very important. Second, then uh, fourth point is the drying. It will remove the moisture. So, if the moisture is not there, that is very much important for the growth of the microbe. So, if we have taken out the moisture, if the moisture is not there, product is dried, then it will also elongate the shelf life and it will, it will uh, prevent the microbial growth for some time. Okay, my, and then fermentation. So, if you compare the uh, normal uh, product, normal meat product and fermented, so fermented pro meat product will have little longer shelf life. So, it will be giving the, uh, again, again the storage of the meat can be done after this preservation. Then irradiation, effective approach of killing meat, that is also, irradiation is also very effective. Then curing and smoking, curing and smoking also it increase the or improves the sh safety and shelf life of the meat. Okay, and this curing and smoking, it will increase, enhance the flavor and the color also. Okay, so this way the preservation of the meat and the storage of the meat can be done. So, this was all about our meat, microbiology of meat, how we can preserve it, what are the different microbial profile, what are the different types of spoilage under aerobic condition, under anaerobic condition, what are the different illnesses caused due to this uh, consumption of spoiled meat and then how we can preserve and how can we can store the meat. Okay, so all these things has covered here. This is it for now. Thank you.